this new AI video update lets you take a reference image of any character and it'll put that character inside of an AI video with just a single prompt. You can use it on a wide variety of different character types. And the best part is you only need a single reference image to do this. I'll show you the best tips for getting the most consistent videos with this new feature. And we'll also cover some of the limitations you should know about before trying this out. To use this new update, go to highlord.video. Let's go inside the video creation tab. Select this S2V video tab, which is the subject to video feature we'll be using. So upload the character image. I've already got a bunch of them prepared in my folder, but you can upload your own. I'll start with this photo of a man, although we'll see plenty of other examples later on. Then just write a prompt. He's working at a cubicle inside a modern office. That's all we need to do, and we'll go and hit that generate button. Give the AI a minute and it'll put a male character inside of an AI video according to the prompt. This works pretty well for human characters and it copies the face of the image. But you've probably noticed that the clothing changes between the different videos. Inside the office, he's wearing a black suit and a white shirt, which is very appropriate. But in the video of him hiking up a mountain, he's got this khaki jacket over a flannel shirt. Stylish, but it's not the same. To keep the clothing consistent, we'll need to be more descriptive in the prompts. So I'll specifically ask for him to wear a black leather jacket with a white shirt underneath. If we add this to the prompt, now our video generations of him will have fairly consistent clothing. The exact details won't be the same if you look super closely, but it's pretty good. Now let's try a more unique looking character. I've got this one of a goblin. It's still kind of humanoid, but it's got some unique features on his face. It really does a pretty good job of copying over the face. This is not a simple character to animate. He's far from what the average person looks like. But like I said, the AI focuses on the face. So the clothing changes and you, even his body shape is different. On the left, he's tall and lean. And on the right, he's shorter and stockier. So inside the prompt, I'll describe the exact body type I want, which is short and stocky. And the costume he's wearing, which is a brown cloak over chainmail armor. If we generate the videos like this, his visual appearance will be much more consistent. The more descriptive your prompts are about the character's appearance, the better and more consistent the results will be. I tried with more detailed faces like this female character who's got a lot of face markings. And for the most part, it copies those tattoos over. I do wish it did more of the entire body though, even though it gets the face pretty accurately. The hairstyles can change between different shots. It's also hard to keep the clothing consistent. This does work with many different visual styles, including this girl who's kind of in between a realistic human photograph and an anime picture. But it still does struggle as usual with hands in the video. It just doesn't look right a lot of the time. Sometimes there's a few extra fingers. Other times it's just totally deformed. So focus on faces and bodies. That tends to work the best. It also won't work for completely non-humanoid characters. I tried to animate the Grinch and that doesn't work. It also won't work for animals or anything like that. This is a pretty cool update, although there's plenty of room for improvement. But if you want to learn the absolute best way to actually create consistent videos of the same character starting from just a single illustration, go watch this guide right here.